Hi. I am your teacher. Call me Jay. Great to have you today. Let's start our class. When you talk to teachers, or read information about multigrade, you will come across these different terms. Multigrade. Multi-age. And composite classroom. But the question is, what are their differences? Let's find out. Multigrade, we have already defined as a class, of more than one grade level, taught by the same teacher in the same room, but it is the way, that the students are taught, and the organization of the teaching program that differs. Multi-age. It means that in one classroom, students may be different, when it comes to their age. There can be a wide range of ages in any one class, varying by quite a number of years sometimes. In the traditional class, all students in the class, will be working on the grade curriculum, despite their age differences. In this sense, the teaching is also syllabus-driven, as there is no special consideration, for the differences in age or ability. Composite classes. Composite classes, are two or more classes working in the same room, with one teacher, but usually with separate programs. For example, the grade 4, will be following the syllabus for their grade, and the grade 5 likewise. The curriculum, is still structured and taught strictly, in separate grades. This sort of teaching, is syllabus driven, the teacher sticking rigidly to the curriculum for that level. But, why do we teach multigrade? There is a reason. At one level, multigrade teaching, is an important and appropriate way, to help nations, reach their internationally mandated education for all targets, and national millennium development goals. It is through providing good quality education to children, who are often neglected, by their education system, because they live in small, poor, and remote communities. The approach being used, is known as multigrade teaching teaching classes of students, not only of different ages and abilities but also, at different grade levels. In many countries however, not only in Southeast Asia, but in many parts of Europe, North America, and Australia, multi-grade teaching is the first choice, for managing a classroom. It helps children, especially those in remote and isolated areas, realize their right to education, and therefore learn what they need and want to learn. This will give them the chance to learn, even if they live in far places. Thus, helping them, not to be left behind. It is a cost-effective approach, to providing schooling to children, often excluded from your education system. This can save the money of the government, from building new classrooms, for every grade. It encourages children, from different backgrounds, to learn with the help of their peers, and therefore promotes cohesiveness, cooperation, and health competition among students, strengthens interpersonal and leadership skills, and develops a positive attitude towards sharing. This will help the learners develop, their social skills in dealing with people, and even to solving social problems or conflict. It benefits you, as a multi-grade teacher, by helping you to plan your work better and be more efficient in your use of time. This will help you out professionally, as you improve yourself, in dealing big differences and become more competent in managing your time. Through the variety of teaching practices, used in multi-grade classrooms, it contributes to your students' cognitive development. The students are engaged, in different classroom and teaching strategies of teachers. This will enhance the students, to easily measure themselves mentally, and improve it gradually as they become more oriented about it. 